September is National Recovery Month, and here in Illinois, the Way Back In is partnering with Are You Really Winning campaign to raise awareness about gam problem gambling. Anita Pindur, the executive director of the Way Back In, joins us today to talk about some of the resources available to those facing a gambling addiction. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So. We hear about sober October, but this is more for gambling because it's like football and all those false words start. Is that what happens? So National Recovery Month um, is a month dedicated to persons who are in recovery and who are kind of the voices and faces of long-term recovery. And so it usually starts with substance and alcohol, but we're kind of trying to make awareness of the fact that in gambling use disorders, you can also have long-term recovery. You can live a really long, happy, active life uh, that doesn't involve a pathological or problem gambling or whatever that gambling issue is to you. So how does this connect to the Are You Winning campaign? If you're in recovery, how does this connect to the Are yeah. You Winning campaign? So we're trying to make sure that Are You Really Winning um, kind of focuses on the whole entire spectrum, mm. from education to prevention to treatment options, and then to recovery. So in recovery, you still want activities, um, events. Um, you still need meetings. So we want to make sure that people are connected to Gamblers Anonymous and to maybe Al-Anon. So people who are family members of persons with gambling use disorders are getting also services and are getting connected to the community. You might be new to Illinois, or you might have moved and you need a new um, area. So when you go to areyoureallywinning.com or call 1-800-GAMBLER, well, it's um, able to connect you not only to services, um, so treatment options, but also other events that are happening, as well as education campaigns. We work really closely with the Illinois Council on Problem Gambling, making sure that there's community events and educational services for community members, but also professionals who might want to learn more. Because gambling is that silent addiction, right? You don't know until it gets, I would imagine, gets very bad, and it can really affect so many people in your family. It can, right? Um, many of the studies suggest that six to ten people in kind of your vicinity, your family, your friends, uh, perhaps your employer can be affected without knowing it. And because it is a silent addiction, often you're suffering in silence or you don't even know that you might have, right? It looks like you're like, I'm just having fun or I used mm -hmm. to have fun and now I don't, but everybody's doing it. And yeah, we're yes. in football season. Yeah, right? I was going to ask, does the start of football season, college and professional, tend to trigger people to who may have been in recovery to regress? Well, sometimes, right? So anything could be a trigger and we really don't know. So that's why we want to make sure that there's a lot of resources available and lots of opportunities to have support groups, to have 12-step groups, to have sponsors and other professionals who rally around you to kind of be that boost if you need that. Also, I like the fact that you guys give tips on if you are betting, here's what's healthy and here's what's not. Yeah, 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 because like not everybody is going to necessarily be diagnosed with gambling use disorders, but many people will have gambling issues. And so sometimes it's important to look at like, what is and isn't. It's like anything else, right? Cookies are delicious, but they're, they're not. <laughs> moderation. But in moderation. <laughs> yes, okay. And we definitely want to make sure that youth is being protected. Mm -hmm. There's definitely age groups. And, and I like the way that these campaigns, the, the, the title of the campaigns are really questions you should be asking yourself. Mm -hmm. Are you winning? Don't bet your future. Now, tell us more about that campaign. Yeah, so we want to make sure that youth, um, you know, kind of under 21 for sports gambling or casino gambling and under 18 for any kind of lotto gambling are protected both uh, for themselves and for anybody else. So when we look at don't bet your future, we really look at it from both the guardian perspective or other supportive um, uh, kind of collaterals and adults and kind of the youth, right? Many youth are playing sports themselves. Mm -hmm. Many um, have scholarships and all of those are affected. So if you don't know or you're not aware, you're not looking at it and you're just saying, oh, it's just some sports gambling, mm -hmm. right? And it's online and it's legal and everybody's doing it. But is it legal for you? And it's not if you're under 21. You need to ask yourself those questions. Mm -hmm. All right. If you or a loved one is struggling with gambling addiction, reach out to the Way Back In during their Are You Winning campaign. You can scan the QR code on your screen or visit the site at areyoureallywinning.com. You can also give them a call or follow them on social media.